So today we have a Supima cotton shirt from Uniqlo, highly requested. When we're actually looking at cotton fibers itself, especially Pima cotton, let me tell you about why it's better. Cotton is a naturally occurring plant. This is actually raw cotton. You see here, there's actually some dirt and stuff in here still. The reason why Pima cotton is better is that because each cotton fiber is longer. You're gonna get cotton fibers for normal cotton around one inch. And for Pima cotton, it's gonna be around inch and a half to two inches. When you turn raw cotton into yarn, let me go through the steps. You get your raw cotton, then you're going to comb it and you're gonna make what's called sliver. And when you go from here, you're actually going to take this sliver and it's spun. You're spinning this cotton into a yarn under tension. You'll see here, this now becomes what's called open and carded cotton. You can't see it here, but there's little fibers flying off of everywhere. But this turned into yarn. The yarn is then knit into a structure. The reason why Pima cotton is so much better is because those fibers are longer, when you're actually spinning the yarn, there's less fibers to come loose. And because it's longer, it's gonna be held together better. And what does that mean for the final garment? It means that it's going to feel softer, it's gonna be a lot more durable. It's also gonna cost more. Let me show you all these things through our microscope we have here. Under the camera here, you're gonna see this is raw cotton. See there's little bits of dirt and stuff like that in there still. These are the cotton fibers themselves. And the length of these is what makes Pima cotton special. Because it's longer, when you're turning this fiber into yarn, so this is the sliver, which is the mid-step. This has been combed in all the same direction. Each one of these fibers are what keeps the yarn together and what you actually feel wearing your shirt. This is why open yarn cotton feels so much rougher. So after you get the cotton and it's spun under tension to create yarn, and this spinning under tension is why cotton shirts actually shrink because once you put them in the wash and you heat them, the fibers relax back to their natural state, which is why cotton shirts shrink. You're also gonna get ring spun cotton, which is a different process, which is going to straighten those fibers and really bind those fibers in. This is what you're left with, cotton yarn. And it's all these loose fibers that become lint in your laundry. And the reason why Pima cotton, again, is better in this process, because these fibers are longer, less of these fibers are going to come loose and less of these fibers are actually going to be sticking out, causing a fabric that's much softer and much more durable. Once you get the yarn itself, you're then going to knit it into a structure. This is just a very large knit structure here. And this is what's gonna end up actually making a shirt. So when we look at a shirt like this, I can see here, this is actually a double knit fabric. Double knit fabric, otherwise known as interlock, is gonna perform very differently than a single jersey knit. It's basically a fabric that's being knit with two layers of needles, which is gonna give a very different front structure and back structure. Here. There's a little mini course on how you go from raw cotton to sliver to yarn to a knit structure. So back to what this is made of. This is made out of Supima cotton. Supima cotton is actually just a branded cotton that's made in the US. So before we actually dive into this and cut this up, let's try it on and see how it fits. I can see here they move the side seams forward. What that's going to do is going to give a little more of a slimming look and it's actually going to increase mobility in the arms. Overall, for a t-shirt priced at $24.90, I would say this fits really well and feels really nice. All right, so now that you know a little bit more about cotton and how this garment fits, let's see how well it's made. Again, this is a double knit. It's going to sit a little more structured than a single jersey knit, a little higher price. It's gonna be a little bit more durable. With the double knit, it's actually going to be a lot smoother of a surface as well. As I felt in the fitting, they brought the side seams forward. Again, this is gonna change how it fits. It's gonna be a little more slim looking. It's going to provide a little bit more mobility in the arms. But another reason, and I think this is why they did it, is Uniqlo is really big on layering. So if you put your side seams all in the same place, if you have a long sleeve over this, if you have a base layer underneath this, if you have a sweater over this, it's actually gonna get really bulky with all these side seams stacking up. So you can tell that they put a lot of thought into this garment from the type of yarn they're using to how it's knit to even the placement of the side seams. The neck ribbing I would say is really nice. Let's take a look at the inside. This is made in Vietnam. Overall, the stitching is actually pretty good. So if you look at the neckline here, they chose to put a top stitch on top with the ribbing. And that's why this is sitting nice and clean. 
Overall, I would say this is pretty well constructed, especially at this price point. A lot of times when you're making a garment, you have to attach your hang tag for the store. And most of the time, you're actually just gonna puncture the garment and pop in a swift tag. But Uniqlo has gone to the degree of actually putting a specific loop here for you to attach the hang tag so that no holes are punctured into the garment. Really nice touch. So now that we've taken a look at the construction of the garment, let's take it apart and I'll show you all the panels. You have your back panel, your front panel, both arm sleeves, the neck ribbing, as well as the neck taping, and then your hang tag and care labels. So now that you know all the components of the t-shirt, let me see what the GSM is so I can figure out how much it's cost to make. So 195 GSM. I would say they were probably aiming for either 190 or 200 GSM. When you're manufacturing and knitting garments, there is always gonna be a variation, but it's important to keep that tolerance pretty small. Okay, so let's review. This is a Supima cotton crew neck from Uniqlo. Cost is $24.90. It's made with Supima cotton, which is a branded Pima cotton that's grown in the US. It's knitted with a double knit structure and it is 195 GSM. So when using a Supima cotton, you have to think that they're importing that from the US to Vietnam, manufacturing it there, and then shipping it back to North America. So there's gonna be a lot of transportation costs in this. Considering the shipping and considering everything else that went into this garment, I would say it would probably cost us around $7.50 to $8 to make this garment in Vietnam. With their choice of fabric, with the attention to detail into design, as well as the construction, I would say this is well worth the price of $24.90. So there you have it. This is what it costs.